This is Tom Brooks, Virginia. There's a pilot there and the loves. And it's a total crazy place, but I saw that they have um, the truck wash, you know? And I called him and said, can you do this? And I don't think it's gonna be expensive. So I figured, while I'm waiting for the rest of my permits, might as well do this. That's what we're gonna do before and after picture. Um, but of course, yeah, this is, this is ridiculous, you know? But don't forget, guys, that I, I came from Quebec, right? Quebec, like very bad weather. And actually, I'm going back in the same bad weather. And that's why I was kind of like hesitant to, uh, to wash it. Because right now in Cambridge, uh, in Cambridge, it's still winter. It's still, you know, 14F. And see how much dirt I have, right? And of course, all this salt, you know, whatever flies, yeah, that's not good for the truck. Like, especially all that dirt over there. I know that, right? So you don't have to tell me. But just uh, the plan, the idea is like, if you're going back into winter, look at this, all dirt. If you're going back into winter, especially, you know, I was loading in that pit right it's all super dirty right wow where did they manage this i think it was in the pit no nothing there just on the side but that's easy fix. I gotta see. That's why I like having black trailers. The very like now actually after the guy washes me, I'm gonna paint that right off. See, super dirty. And that red, that's what that's what was inside the pit. Mm -hmm. Look at this, ugly. Ugly, ugly, ugly. I know that. You see? <laughs> it's not supposed to flicker. Because as I was saying yesterday, where's the switch? Over there. The switch is off for these lights, and yet they continue flickering. Should I take the sign off? I don't know. Wow, this is all baked in, you know? Wow. So that's what I want to wash, like this stuff. It's like a sandpaper, you know? And so yeah, the plan is to uh, wash the truck, the trailer, and you see this? I don't want this. I want the stuff gone. And the tracks. Like, they look actually pretty clean. But, you know, it's still... So they don't have to worry too much about this, but you know, maybe like five, 10 minutes on each side, just to make sure there's no, no baked, uh, see like this. Boy, the guys don't like that when you have dirt inside there. But looks good. So the machine was behaving. Nothing was moving. Everything is cool. So we on our way to delivery. All right, let's get closer. Get closer to the door. Yeah, and some guys keep asking me why the why the pipe is not connected. Uh, but actually, I can see it from here. Well, let me see if you guys can see. See that pipe? If I increase it, <laughs> you can see that it just ends over there. Right? Like that pipe, like that's now in the middle of the frame, that's just the end of the pipe. And I'm real, I really hate when they do that, you know? Like, 
I'm a big believer in uh, functionality. You know, like, why even bother with this? And I was always complaining how I, I that's why I didn't like the pipes in the back here, like on my international, because they always flatten them, you know, and I, and I thought, hey, at least here when they're on the sides, they should be, uh, they should be, you know, a regular cylinder form, but they still do this. Look, you see this? It's still, but of course it doesn't matter here because there's no flow there anyway. But let's see. Oh yeah, okay, here it's different, see? That's what different. Like here, the whole thing goes right into like, there's no muffler, you see here? The actual muffler is one unit together with the uh, emission system. It's all one, this big place here. And that's why, oh, and you can see from here, from this side especially, you can see that dead pipe. So right now it's in the center of the frame. You can just see the hole and they put some four angle metal piece in there. But what they were saying when I asked uh, when I asked Kenworth about it, they were saying that for some reason when they had that pipe connected they were saying that water was getting in I guess when the truck was parked and so moisture and snow whatever was getting in and it was messing up uh, the emission system and trucks were getting uh, trucks were getting uh, error messages you know? and so they just disconnected it uh, and some guy somebody oh, ask me if uh, it would improve improve the fuel efficiency uh, I think it would but I think the, the matter is that these trucks they don't have like uh, two two manifolds you know like a sports car like even my challenge right I have two genuine exhausts like each side of the engine has its own exhaust but I'm pretty sure that on these trucks it's still only one pipe you know and then it splits into two so it's not a real dual exhaust um, and so yeah that one can be hooked up because one thing also I don't like is that I don't think it'll matter like that one is connected right but for some reason on that pipe when the water gets in and I assume it will get in right let's say the truck is parked and it's raining so for some reason when the water gets in on that side it doesn't cause error messages, but for some reason it causes when it gets on this side. I don't know. I think my truck will be uh, off warranty next month. And I decided for some reason, I decided not to pay $10,000 for extended warranty. I'm still not sure why I decided that, but maybe it has to do something with the, with the amount that they want. 10,000, I think it's like 9,000 US. Uh, 12 or 13,000 Canadian so I decided not to do that it's just it's not worth it but so the plan is when I come I think Monday I'll deliver and then I'm gonna go and uh, fix the fix the this thing it's out of adjustment and uh, fix the yeah first I go to the body shop to get the estimate for the repair of the headlight and then I send it to the Quebec company. Hopefully they will send me a check. But I'm not going to wait for it. So I'm going to go to Kenworth. I already booked the appointment. I just have to move it to uh, from Friday to Monday. So I'm going to adjust the clutch. I'm going to do alignment on the front axle. It just feels, something feels weird. Even though the guy didn't hit my tire, I don't know. Uh, maybe I hit some big pothole or something. But I, I want to check the alignment. And then fix the headlight and uh, what else and I, I want I want them again to look into the coolant why I'm losing coolant maybe it just you know evaporates but just want to make sure because it's really annoying to have that you know signal and audible alert uh, but other than that uh, oh yeah and I want to fix uh, when I get the chance maybe I'll do it on the way to Canada I want to fix this uh, ground bad ground on the trailer probably that's what causes this either a short somewhere or bad ground but it should be 
and easy fix all right so let me just pull over and then the next uh, thing you'll guys see is uh, when the truck and trailer is clean and i look forward myself to to seeing that you know because yeah you think i like it no but in winter in canada like there's you know almost hardly any point in uh, washing because uh, because the roads are so dirty you know This is much better. It's not perfect, but you know, at least the truck looks like like a human being. Check out the wheels. The wheels. It's been like my neck is so massive. I like <laughs> I like this monster 60 ton trailer. Check out the neck. It's like freaking amazing, you know. And they washed the, well, a little bit, you know. But they washed the trailer, the top, the sides, they washed the machine, at least now. I can, if they ask me, yeah. Well, but you know, it's all baked in there, so. But if they ask me at the border, it was washed, right? Like, what am I supposed to do? Clean it with compressed air? But now we're good. And there was so much dirt in here you know, on these parts flying from the wheels and they cleaned that well almost and this here was all covered in mud you know and you see these things are flashing right even though they're not supposed to yeah we are cooking with gas Well, it was difficult to uh, wash it because all that dirt was flying from the machine, you see? Like the center of the trailer, of course, will need will need to be washed. It's too bad I don't have like a little mobile washer, you know? So this is it. That's what I wanted to show you guys. Finally a wash. And of course I'm heading back towards winter. Because right now in Canada it's about 12, 14 F, minus 9, minus 10 Celsius, so there's still salt and, and, and stuff on the, on the road, you know. So it's gonna, gonna get dirty again, but at least this stuff, which is a couple of months old, is now gone, so now we're ready for the new dirt. Thanks for watching.